Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Hyper Sniper, and today we're making a different type of video. Um, we're talking about how to basically play Save the World for all you, like, new people and stuff. Uh, this video was suggested by Ozzy, one of my friends. And so, yeah, so we're gonna be going through quests, map, command, armory, and then you guys can, and then a llama shop, obviously. It's kind of self-explanatory, but, um... We'll be going through all of these and how to work them and how to work every each um, thing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with quests. And so quests, you wanna like, so main quests, you wanna click on it. And if it's not already pinned, you can go to your quest log, hit that and then hit pin. Uh, you want this to be pinned when you're playing a mission so you can see like, how much of it you've completed. See, I've completed two out of five and I can see that in missions. And you wanna make sure you read um, this and read that too. Cause you wanna know what to actually do in the missions. And you make and you wanna make sure you read this carefully because if you do like say a 58 plus ghost, I mean a 58 mission ghost town zone, it won't work. You won't actually get any progress. So. And each uh, mission has like different rewards. Like this one has a uh, legendary melee weapon schematic or a legendary range weapon schematic. And you also can get 6k schematic XP. So yeah. And then all these quests are like um, just certain quests that you can do. Self-explanatory, right guys? Okay. Hopefully it is. <laughs> now we're going on to the map. The map is also pretty self-explanatory. You just click which world you want to go to like say if you want to go to stonewood you just click that and hit select if you want to go to plankerton but you're probably get, if you're watching this you're probably going to have to go to stonewood so you select that and then you can go around and if you like hover over it or if you like click on it you can see the rewards on like the left of your screen over here like so this one gives you hero xp survivor xp and gold and so you can figure that out the only way you know how much of the rewards that it's giving you is at the very end of the game when it tells you. So yeah, that's map. Command. So heroes, you if you want to click on heroes, you got expeditions. These are useful sometimes if you're trying to find something certain most of the time, but these high power level ones, you need to put in like really high power level heroes or else they're going to like have no chance of succeeding. Like here, I'll pre prepare one. I'll put in this, this and uh, this, all right? Now, it still only has a 31% chance of succeeding, and that's not that good, so you don't want that. And each, like, on this right side, each one has a different reward. So you could get wood, mine stone, crafting supplies, or a supply cache, or rescue survivors, traps, and stuff. So, like, yeah, pretty easy. So now let's go to defenders. Defenders, uh, you don't really have to use them that often, but if you do, you basically just place them where you think a lot of husks will be coming from, and you put in ammo, and they'll shoot for you. They're not great, though, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's a lot, it's a really waste of bullets, so, yeah, I wouldn't recommend Defenders, so yeah. Got your hero load loadouts. So the further on you go into your quest line, and the more, uh, storm shields you do, the more um, hero uh, loadouts you'll have. Right now, I have... Ooh, it's really glitchy. Six. So, each one has... Here, I'll go to my first one, because that's my best. So, we got Hybrid, which is my main commander. And commander has a ability, which you can... Yeah. It has, like, a hero, a commander ability. Then you have a team perk, and... Team perks take a certain amount of a certain hero to use. So, if you say, okay, so this takes three ninjas, and so I have one, two, three, and I have a soldier and an outlander, which, yeah. Um, and then you can put gadgets in, and gadgets, we'll talk about more of the gadgets later on, but, yeah, you can put gadgets here by clicking on them. So, yeah. Got that. So that's your hero loadout. So each hero has a hero ability, team perk, and a support team. You want to upgrade your hero to, like, the max you can, because it gives you more health and shield. 
So now you can go to manage and this basically shows you all of the heroes you have. And so say like, okay, so you have your favorite favorited heroes like right here then um, after that you either have your highest power levels or like yeah basically just highest power levels after that so yeah that's the manage and you can also okay so say I want to upgrade phase scout Jess I hit upgrade and inspect then I hit level up which I'm not going to because I don't need to but then you could go to upgrade and you could hit level up from there or you could view the evolution and, um, yeah, it takes a lot of, uh, crafting materials, like Pure Drops of Rain, Lightning in a Bottle, and Eye of Storm, which are all, um, crafting materials. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the hero, the hero tab. Now we got survivors. Survivors are a little bit more difficult than heroes. They're harder to talk about, so we'll go to manage first. So, the manage is, um is where you can see, base. it's like the hero one, but you can see where all your heroes are and their power levels is basically what it is. So, yeah, that's the manage page, and you can see all your heroes, so yeah. And then you got squads. This is what a lot of people ask, like in some of my streams and a lot of people in real life that I know, they ask how to work survivor squads. So this is hard to explain, but you want to, tr if you have the survivor with the leader match, then... Hopefully it's mythic. Hopefully it's mythic. I have all mine mythic. But see how I do not I don't have a leader match here. And that brings down the training team a lot. If I had a like a uh, the um leader match, then I'd have a lot like pro I'd pre probably be like power level 79, I mean 69 or 70. So you want and then whatever okay, so this is the personality okay guys so if whenever you put something down you want to make sure oh there's an mission available okay but personality is dreamer okay so that looks like this little swirly thing it looks like where my cursor is at right now so what you want to do is when you're like changing your heroes or your survivors you can see in like the bottom left like a little personality thing right there and see, that matches the dreamer. So this guy, this personality is a dreamer. And if all of your um, people in your survivor squad are the same personality, it gives a huge boost. Like, let's, here, let's take this out and not put it as a dreamer. See, look at my health and shield. It goes down. Like a ton. So you want to make sure all of it's the same. So, see, this one is all the same. And sometimes you can't make it the same. Like, right now I'm kind of working on this. And I just don't have any high power level ones. I try to not have like epics or below, but sometimes I have to to like make a match. So, yeah. So that's how survivor squads work. All this extra junk right here, I'm not going to get into because it's a lot more complicated than just like the personalities and the leader matches. So, and then you can see like the personalities, like under, like if you're just uh, scrolling over them you can see like the personalities and the way you get more the way you can get like more slots like when you first start out you'll have like a few like you'll have the t uh, the leader and a few others that you can put in it'll say like plus 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 right here the way you get more is basically you do uh, storm shield defenses so yeah and then you'll up and then you'll level them up so that's survivors so upgrades, this is very simple. So you have Adrenaline Rush, this gives you health. The hover turret, basically you can put it down and it shoots some husks for you for about 30 seconds. Then you got the Supply Drop, it can gives you some materials. Airstrikes, like basically launch a nuke on the husks. Uh, the Proximity Mine, um, basically just deals high damage to, in all enemies of so a one tile thing. So uh, yeah, description. Teleporter is basically what it is. It's a teleporter. You can teleport from one place to another. The uh, slow field is you can place it down and all the husks in like the area will be slowed down. Like see that little animation thing that all of them slow down. Then your banner is you can like spawn and heal there. So yeah, tools. This is what you really want to worry about. So 
you want so see this like level up here this is some people mix this up with your power level right here's your power level and this is your account level so okay so the next upgrade i get is at level 180 see this right there so once i hit 180 i'll be able to upgrade the backpack and the storm shield storage vault so yeah and then that'll give me more uh slots that i can hold more guns and traps and stuff Building repair speed is uh, exactly what it says. Building health is exactly what it says. And the pickaxe upgrade is also exactly what it says. It just does, like, more damage to the things you hit. So, yeah. And you got research. I was saving my research points so I could show you guys this. Okay, look at my power level right now. Right now I'm working on def uh, offense right now. So, each one of these upgrades another thing. And... So fortitude is just health, offense is basically just how much damage you do, but weapon damage, this is, uh, upgrades your shield and health, I mean shield and shield regeneration, and this is ability damage, trap damage, and healing rate. So yeah, that's what that is. And it also upgrades your power level a little bit. So here, I'll hit research. There. Now we're power level 69. Hmm. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Laughs. Chuckles. Um, but yeah. Once you hit the final one, and you, like, upgrade it to, like, the next, uh, level, it gives you a lot. Like, it gives you t a full, like, two or three bars of power level. It doesn't upgrade you three levels, but it just bars. So that is the research. And then profile is just... I... You never really look at this. So yeah. I'll just skip over that. Armory! Schematics. Okay, so schematics um, are what you can craft. And set. So, okay, so I can craft all of these. Okay? But if you want to level them up, you have to have XP, which shows right here. This is schematic XP. I have 583,000. And you can upgrade your guns with that. So say I want to upgrade this, I'd have to evolve it first. So, I'd need to use Pure Drops of Rain, Schematic XP, Weapon Designs, Lightning in a Bottle, and Eye of the Storm. So, yeah, it, it's hard, yeah, it's easy, so. And then you can upgrade, and then you hit Modify Perks. This is where you can change the rules. Like, if you ever heard of, like, God Rolls or Gold Rolls, um, you can upgrade. So, like, say, uh, let's see. So, say I want to upgrade Reload Speed more. Or like durability or magazine size. So you can change the rolls. So say if I, I don't want reload speed. Then you could change the uh, roll to like durability. So like your gun would have more durability. Or you could change it to magazine size. Which would change how much the gun can hold. Like how much bullets. And weapon stability is basically. I don't know what that is honestly. I'm going to be 100% honest. But if you want to upgrade it. You can just hit that. You need rare perk ups to upgrade green to blue. You need epic perk, perk ups to upgrade from blue to uh, epic and then yeah so forth and so on and then, then you also need reperks and then you can also in the middle it shows like uh, nature this one shows nature you can change that to any of one of these as long as you have the reperks so this one needs a fire reperk this needs an energy oh well an EMP reperk so yeah that's all that and then we got backpack this just shows what you have in your inventory that is you're basically crafting supplies that's your traps that's your bullets that's your melee weapons and yeah over here you can see what guns you can craft so yeah so backpack and then storage is in your storm shield defense vault thing uh that you go in like your home base that's it shows what it has in there collection book so collection book you can put things in collection book by either um, retiring them or just going to the collection book and looking. So say I don't use a hero at all. Okay, let's see. I don't really use assassins there, I don't think. So see this like level up here? Once this reaches the max, I get that item right there. It's an epic defender. So I'm not I'm not actually going to slot it because that's a terrible thing. But you basically hit select, and then it'll say confirm slot, and then no. Oh, V-Bucks. Okay, cool. 
And you also get a daily reward if you didn't know that. So that's a good time to talk about that. Um, so daily rewards, you can go here and then hit daily rewards and you'll, it'll show you what you get. Um, we're not at next week yet, so yeah. My next big reward is 300 V-Bucks. So yeah, that's the collection book. It's pretty easy, kind of. And you get, most of the rewards aren't that good. Every once in a while you get a legendary troll style Shlama, which is pretty good. Here's your resources. This is where all of your things that aren't in your backpack are. Like um, all your XP, your hero XP, your XP boosts, your teammate, teammate XP boosts, your tickets, your flux, um, your crafting materials, gold. So that's where all that is. And then the llama shop. You got X-ray llamas, which they used to be t pure luck, okay? They used to be pure luck. You couldn't see what's inside of them. So I wouldn't know if this was gold or if this was uh, silver or regular. So, um, yeah. So you can see what's inside of them. And you can pick if you want the llama or not. Like, if not, this is not a good llama. Terrible llama. Don't waste your V-Bucks on this. Like, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Unless if you really want the snowflake tickets, or the, whatever tickets are at the time you're watching this. You got loot where all the extra llamas are that you can buy with tickets, or your, like, mini reward llamas. Um, right now I don't have enough tickets to buy this, but basically this can give you, like, special guns. Like, the event guns that are right, that are in the event right, like, at the time. Then you got the regular items, you got the weekly items, where you have all the, like, uh, stuff you can buy, you got heroes, survivors, flux, uh, storm shard, eye of the, eye of the storm, lightning in a bottle, pure drops of rain, and reperks. You want to try to buy as many of these crafting materials as you can. If you're in Stonewood, just buy pure drops of rain and reperks. You'll, trust me, you'll thank me later. Over here is the event items, which shows you all the event things that are happening right now. And, like, you got all the heroes and the guns and the armory slots. All of them always have armory slots. So, yeah, heroes. Store is V-Bucks. So, guys, if you want any, if you have any comments on how to work anything and save the world, I will explain it to you in the comments. I get notifications when people comment, so I will respond to it as fast as I can. And, um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just comment. Don't worry, I will uh, respond. So if I didn't cover anything that you needed, comment, and, uh, yeah, I'll respond to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If this was helpful, hit the like button. This took me a long time. That's why I haven't been streaming. This took me a long, long time. So, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, peace.